the United States Geological Survey just gave an update about the activity around Yellowstone. They said the following. Yellowstone Swarm Update. Activity overnight. Some small quakes continue. As of Saturday morning, the University of Utah Seismograph Station's event has detected 280 events. These swarms are common as hydrothermal fluids interact with existing faults. No other changes noted. One person asked them whether this activity is rising, and if an eruption is going to happen, to which they responded with the following. No, that is completely wrong. If that were the case, we would see signs of magma movement from the vast array of other monitoring we do at Yellowstone. For example, there would be detectable upward ground movement, but there's none. End quote. This kind of goes against what these photographs show, with some describing this uplift as being proof that there's definitely something going on underneath Yellowstone, and that whatever it is is increasing in size, with some who've seen the images saying that it reminded them of the bulge that was seen on Mount St. Helens. It's important to note as well that these photographs are from the United States Geological Survey's website. Many of these cams can be found across the park that give live updates, and this is just one of them that appears to show an uplift happening. Naturally, people have been questioning what this is, and what's caused it to bulge outwards. When I place the red lines across, you can definitely see there's some kind of ground increase, as the two images no longer line up. One user said the following, it's interesting how the USGS have come forward time and time again and said that none of the areas around Yellowstone have increased or decreased in size, yet various images completely go against this. I'm not saying that this means that an eruption is going to happen, but there's obviously something happening underneath the park. When people have asked the United States Geological Survey for their opinion on these photographs, they haven't responded although this could just be because they haven't seen them. With all of the recent activity and photographs like this being shared, it's no wonder that people are starting to question what's going on around Yellowstone. The reason people are so invested in activity around the park is because of the supervolcano. One of the explanations for this could be the flood of magma is moving underneath the ground. What's interesting about this is that the United States Geological Survey has said that the area should be dropping not rising, yet the images appear to show that it's bulging upwards. As mentioned before, this detail is not obvious when you're looking at the live cameras, but when you place two photographs side by side, you can see that there's quite a big difference. Those who have been following the quakes, the increase in volcanic flow in the bulge at Yellowstone, I've all been asking the same question. Why is the United States Geological Survey hiding some of these earthquakes, and not reporting on them? One online user said the following. We can clearly see that seismic trackers inside Yellowstone are picking up on these tremors, yet in some cases the USGS is not talking about them. They are the ones who tell people not to worry about these quakes, and that they will not affect surrounding areas, yet they outright refuse to comment on some of them. It's a bit confusing and I can see why people are starting to question what's going on. End quote. It seems though that within the last few days, Yellowstone Park officials have started to report on these quakes. On the 16th of July they said the following, an ongoing swarm with more than 141 earthquakes is centered beneath Yellowstone Lake. The University of Utah Seismograph Stations has located 40 earthquakes larger than magnitude 2 and two events in the magnitude 3 range. More locations will be posted throughout the day. Earthquake sequences like these are common and account for roughly 50% of the total seismic activity in the Yellowstone region. This swarm is similar to the one that occurred around the same place during December 2020. Interestingly, someone asked the following. When should we be worried about earthquake activity? 
and the United States Geological Survey said this. Perhaps tens of thousands of located events, many of which would be felt, along with significant ground deformation and other anomalous changes in geological conditions. End quote. This has confused some people, as they've pointed out that many of these earthquakes have been felt, and that there's also been obvious ground deformation that's been photographed using Yellowstone live cameras. So some are questioning whether this means that something is going to happen sometime in the near future. As some have pointed out, all this update has done is caused more questions than answers. Someone even commented that the answer they gave made no sense. As some have said though, the United States Geological Survey isn't mentioning the depth of these earthquakes. The data shows us that these earthquakes are hitting the upper part of the magma chamber, at around 2 miles deep. Two large magma bodies can be found underneath the park, with the top chamber measuring around 5 kilometers, or 3.1 miles deep. Many of these recent earthquakes are hitting just beneath the surface, between 1 and 4 miles deep. Again, one thing that the United States Geological Survey doesn't report on is that these earthquakes are causing cracks beneath the surface. In fact, one study that was carried out showed that these earthquakes that were hitting north of Yellowstone Lake were causing deep fractures. The data revealed the following. Location of earthquakes at the north end of Yellowstone Lake with the direction of spreading of the deep fracture modelled as vertical volcanic embankment showing seismic and ground displacement data. So again, these studies show us that these earthquakes are having a direct effect on the areas around Yellowstone, and the deep cracks are starting to form in places such as Yellowstone Lake. Yellowstone Lake has been showing an increase with these quakes, with some of the most recent ones measuring 3 in magnitude. West Thumb is the largest geyser basin on the shores of Yellowstone Lake, the heat source of this hydrothermal features in this location is thought to be relatively close to the surface, only 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters down. The west thumb of Yellowstone Lake was formed by a large volcanic explosion that occurred approximately 150,000 years ago. The resulting collapsed volcano later filled in with water forming an extension of Yellowstone Lake. It's for this reason that some have expressed their concerns about the increased earthquake activity around this area. After all, it was only in the 1990s that researchers discovered hydrothermal features underneath the surface of the lake. These photographs are currently being shared around social media. The image shows what many are saying is a big fund. Jacksonville, Florida's Facebook page posted the following statement. The Sheriff's Department just validated the photos, and the Finding Bigfoot team has been deployed. I will update as information comes in. A Florida man is happy to be safe at home after a scary incident. John Doe spotted a Bigfoot in the woods on the water's edge, and took these amazing photographs of the beast. He said the following. At first I thought it was a grizzly bear, but once I got a better look I realised that it was definitely a Sasquatch. The Sheriff's Department is currently examining these photographs, but they are expected to verify their authenticity soon. This is a developing story, more to come. End quote. When the photographs were shared online, many said they are some of the best that have been shared in recent years noting that this could be the real deal. Many people then shared their own experience with Bigfoot, with some users saying that these creatures can be found all across the United States, while others said that this isn't actually a Bigfoot, but rather the skunk ape, another large bipedal creature that's said to live in the US. For years now residents across America have reported encountering these mysterious creatures, saying that they are notoriously difficult to photograph, and that you don't usually run into them because they keep their distance, saying that they can sense you from a mile off, and will be gone before you can reach them. 
but every so often someone is able to capture some interesting images of these creatures, leaving us to question whether they're real or not. Those that have allegedly encountered them have said they are genuine, and that there's a small population of them spread throughout America. One user said the following, These photographs are really interesting, and they remind me of the stories that my dad shared with me. He said that in all of his years of hunting, he only encountered two Bigfoot, saying that they are incredibly shy and don't often approach humans. One time he told me that he saw a large figure hiding behind a large stack of trees. He said that when he was around 50 meters from it, he suddenly realized that it wasn't a human, but was actually a large Bigfoot. He didn't approach any further and backed off immediately. He said it was strange because at one point all of the wildlife in the area went silent, and he thinks this is because of the Bigfoot. To this day he swears by what he saw, and is a firm believer that Bigfoot is out there. Another user had this to say, I'm on the fence with Bigfoot. I really want to believe that is real. I've heard some interesting stories about them, which have come from credible sources. I've also heard some out there theories as to why we can never find them, some of which link them to the UFO phenomena. I hope these photographs are real. I really want to believe. While some skeptics in the comment section weren't buying the photographs, saying the following, I don't think this is a big vent. To me, it just looks like a man in a suit, possibly a hunter wearing some kind of camouflage. The photographs are quite clear, which makes me think that the person in question wasn't too far away, and the original photographer didn't want to get too close otherwise it would have been obvious that it was someone in camouflage. There's no way that a Bigfoot creature exists. We would have found evidence of it by now, and if their size is in fact true, then you would need a large population of them to exist. We've never found any genuine footprints or skeletons of this creature. It's not real. End quote. Those who have researched Bigfoot sightings have said there's some things that you should look out for, noting that one of these signs of a Bigfoot is that of broken branches. Bigfoot researchers have said that you can often hear them breaking branches if you're alone, and that if you follow the sound you won't normally find a Bigfoot, as they'll be gone before you can reach the area, but you might find some of the snap branches. They've said that they're unsure as to why they do this, but said it could be them creating dens, or they could do this to communicate with one another. Bigfoot sightings and encounters aren't anything new. Reports of these elusive creatures have been reported for hundreds of years now, and there's some that think these could be animals that are unknown to science. It's important to remember that the mountain gorilla was only discovered in 1902. It's for this reason that some Bigfoot researchers have theorized that it's a large ape that roams the Americas, and that it's able to avoid humans. After all, there's countless stories of ancient humans having run-ins with large bipedal ape-like creatures. These reports have come in from America, Australia, and Asia. In fact, early mountain climbers would report seeing large hairy men high up in the mountains, claiming that they towered above them, and were the gatekeepers of the mountains. As of right now, those scientists have said there's no such creature, and that the reports that are coming in can be easily explained, with them noting that the majority of these sightings are either pareidolia, or someone misidentifying another human as a Bigfoot. Some trained hikers and officials disagree with these statements, and have said that there's various hotspots throughout the United States where these creatures live, with national parks allegedly being a hotspot for these cryptids. Many have come forward and said that while hiking, it feels as if lone, high-pitched sounds are following them. Some believe that there could be creatures lurking in our national parks that are causing disappearances. So what do you make of these Bigfoot photographs? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, 
and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.